Hey everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings, and I have a scrapbook video for you today. I posted earlier this weekend, or this last weekend, that I was project lifing and scrapbooking, and I posted that on my Facebook page, and I said I'd have an update for you guys on Monday. And so I'm a little bit late getting the post up, but I was really, I worked on this until late last night. I just have had the itch to scrapbook and really wanted to do something and so I did. I just got my stuff out this weekend and I decided that I would work on Andrew's album. So you guys have seen part of this. I'll show you how it started. I had this stuff done on it because you guys have seen me put together layouts and I just had some regular layouts and you can see videos on me doing these layouts um, a, a little while back. So that's what I had. I just had these layouts and I kind of wasn't sure where to go with it. And so did a little bit of research online, kind of looked at some project life stuff and this is what I decided to do. So this is going to show you guys a great way to incorporate project life page protectors in with your regular scrapbooking. What I have decided personally to do is I'm using only Be Becky Higgins page protectors in my scrapbooks. Her 12 by 12 page protectors and then all of her uh, pocket ones. All of the different designs. And I'm just doing that so that all of my page protectors throughout my entire album will line up and will work and will fit. The original album that I had picked out for Andrew does not work with these page protectors and so I'm going to have to pick something different and I'll probably do a three ring binder because I like those better anyways but I was kind of bummed about that. So everything's out. You can see it's loose. So this is um, I've done quite a bit. So they're not all finished and I had hesitated in showing you guys because my pages aren't finished but I thought I really want you guys to see the progress and my process of how I do this. So this is going to be my title page pretty much. It'll be the first page you see when you when you open up the album and I just did some cardstock that matched and then I have my little notes on here. I'm going to cut some stuff out on my Cricut and then I'm in the process of doing some journaling. So right here I want to put baby number three and then I have a little journaling thing. I'm not sure where it went. Oh, it's right here. So you can see I just printed on vellum. This says Andrew Michael Martinez and I uh, accidentally made it too big of a space here, so I just got to fix that. But basically, I want that to go right here. And then this says, uh, Mommy created this album for Andrew during the first year of his life. And that is going to go down here. I'll trim that part out, and that'll go down here. So that's going to be the front. And then the very next page doesn't have a whole lot in it. But it is going to be our family page. So right up here I'm going to put family. I have a family photo I'm going to put here. I have a picture of mommy and daddy that's going to go here. I have a picture of our family before Andrew came. Just the three of us. That's going to go here. And then I have a picture of Kayla and Violet that is going to go here. And then I'll probably do some... Cricut cuts and some journaling, but I'm not positive I need to print my photos, and so I want to have my photos in here before I do that. So then my next page, I'm going to show you these individually. This is an entire layout, and this is about expecting Andrew. So what I did is I just picked a piece, uh, some cardstock that matched, and I, it was just, actually I had one piece of this pattern paper, and then this pattern the tan and the blue went with it it matched and so I just used that for this layout and this is expecting baby and so I'm going to write right here expecting baby and then I'll do some hand journaling here on my Cricut I want to cut out a big A to go right here for Andrew and then these are some journaling this is journaling let's see this is about his name, how we picked his name. This is the story of how we found out. This is telling Kayla and Violet. And then the next page, I'm going to have a picture of me when I was pregnant. 
Then this is a little story about how I found out I was pregnant and I knew it was a boy. And so I was eight weeks pregnant and we were on our way somewhere and I stopped at Michael's and I picked up a baby boy paper stack. I didn't have any baby boy paper because I just had the girls. And so I, w I we had just found out like literally about four days before that I was pregnant. And so I put that in there, the little story. Um, this is some stories about me being pregnant. And then I just have a, this tag I wrote to, I wrote a little, little journaling. And then this is some journaling. So that's pretty much this layout. Okay, so it'll be all about expecting him. So then this page, as you can see, it's not completely finished. I still have to journal about my doctor's appointments. And then these are some of our sonogram pictures. And then a little business card that has like our appointment, um, the date of one of my appointments. And then what I did, because I was ready to go from so here I'm using the pockets and I'm ready to go from using the pockets to normal pages. So I just had this piece of cardstock and it just had this little guy on it. And normally I wouldn't use this this kind of cardstock because I really wouldn't know what to do with it. But in this case, I used it and I put the first month calendar. I do calendars in all my albums. And so I printed out the calendar and put it on there. And then that way I can go right into my normal layouts. Okay, so you can see now the next few layouts are going to be some normal layouts that I worked on. All of these layouts, I did videos on actually putting them together. So you can go back if you're new to my videos, you can go back through my videos and check out me putting them together. So you can see I just have my little sticky notes. I need to do some journaling because this is when we came home. I need to do journaling here. And then I have this side which is a normal layout. And then what I've done is I'm going to want, it goes like this actually, these are a little bit backwards. So what I did is my very next page is a pocket page and it is a different design. This is design F I believe, design F. So it has one four by six picture here and then it has three by fours all the way down. So I just have a sticky note here. This is going to be about his first doctor's appointment. We had him circumcised. That's going to be here. This is just going to be some random facts the first couple weeks of his life. Then on this side, what I've done is this is going to be facts about you and facts about Andrew and his world. So I have some black and white photos. Now I did a design F on this side. So we have the one four by six with all the three by fours and then directly on the other side I just did a normal design A with the two four by sixes and then the three and then the four three by fours. So the reason I did that is because my very next page is a layout for this particular design. So it takes a little bit of thought in using these page protectors, but in the end it's so much easier than, it's so much easier for me. So this is just going to be random facts. I have all my stickies and I know which photos I want to use and I have to get those printed. And so then I just did month one and my battery is almost dead so I'm going to finish this real quick. Then this is going to be month two, and I just have some photos in here, and I'm just filling in. So I'm trying to get to six months. So I will have another update next week, next Monday, for our Project Life Mondays, uh, just because I'm really in the mode to working on this. So come back next Monday, and you'll see some more progress on Andrew's album. So thank you guys so much for coming by, and I'll talk to you later.